for our John Mayer squad. This is a super fun exercise uh, that I picked up from John Mayer and learning some of his songs. And it's something that I see as a big hole in a lot of um, the people in our community who keep wanting to learn John Mayer stuff, uh, especially stuff like Neon, Vultures, things like that, um, where he's getting into the self-accompaniment part and he's like kind of solo and he's got like this really cool groove and he can improvise. Um, and so what we're going to do is I'm going to teach you guys how to start getting into the flow of creating uh, these improvised solos that he does. Uh, so they work under a system of learning how to monitor your time, which is something that typically we rely on like click tracks or drama or whatever, things like that. But when you're on your own, um, this is a really, really cool exercise to test out how good your timing is. So for instance, I'm just going to get a groove. I'm going to one, uh, uh, uh. and you can either like stomp on the floor to keep the pulse going for yourself. Um, if you need to have a click track or a metronome, you can do that. But basically all the exercise is, is you set a pulse and then you're going to pick a key. So I'm playing in the G minor right now. And then what you're going to do is you're going to stay so close to the pulse and then you're going to fit things in between. So you're going to have like your bass note and then idea and bass note and idea. And the goal is to never lose time. So let's see how we go. So you can see how that's um, that's pretty much all I'm doing. Nothing crazy, nothing fancy. When you're, um, and I know for some beginners that will feel quite fancy, but what actually is happening is I'm just picking out in the pentatonic scale some kind of idea, and then I've got my groove. So you establish whatever groove you want. And then I'm filling it. So the reason why this is a really fun exercise to do is you can start playing with your internal rhythm, whatever your groove is, you can just start really honing in on it. And so say for instance, it was like, you know, example of like. So I've got that like group. So I'm here in the groove in my head and I'm just going in. Oh. So I'm just getting the groove down and then I'm just adding. Now you want to hear the groove in your head, and then you want to feel like little ideas. It's, it can be as simple as this. But as long as that main one is coming down, you're just like, you're nailing that every time. That's all that matters. You just keep your pulse. So you can see I'm always coming back down on that main one chord. So I've just played that, that main chord and then I've got the groove in my head and then I'm just improvising around it. And I'm just really locking into this internal groove. And, and you can sit down for like hours doing this. Like I've sat down for hours just having fun with this. Um, really, really simple exercise. You just, you're, you're getting a pulse and then just improvising. Just play bass note and then have a groove that you want to lock into and you just improvise. And just always come back to that one. Always come back to the, the home and just keep riffing. Now, 
This is really important for all of our for all of our friends. Sorry, I'm just like I want to make sure I get the right note. Uh, it's really important for those who are getting into neon because I I see this problem all the time. Uh, like even if if you've watched my content, like I get roasted because I don't do the um I don't do the crab claw. I do like my own like. So, but one thing that will happen is, you know, you might be able to do like the exact neon thing, but every time, it's just without fail, every time I see someone go to do a cover of it, they come to the solo section, they get that. And then they get to that. They start jumping into like copying his guitar solo and then they lose time. Because John Mayer is not like, he's got his licks and sure every guitarist has their licks. But what hap- what's happening there is your, your goal is to lock in on how he's generating licks. You don't want to be the person, I mean, you can't be a person who can nail every single one and that's totally wicked if, you, if that's your vibe. But what I would encourage you to do, um, which will, like, it, it will help you across all songs that you go to learn, is learn how to connect to the groove that he's doing and then improvise over the top of that. So if we got, so he does that. So I just kind of lock myself into the, which is him doing that like a, the C minus six or whatever he does um, to get that natural six. So he's doing Dorian. And then all we're going to do is we're just going to lock in that groove. As long as you can practice that technique of just getting that pulse. You're just going to have heaps of fun and you're going to start really building up this really, really important technique um, or just like the skill of just being in time. the last thing you want to do is is be someone who when you you've absolutely slayed a song like vultures or like neon or whatever or anything that you could be using this in and you get to this point where you're like shit i'm now like out of time and it's like the listener has been on this journey they're loving it and then boom you've disconnected with them and they're like ah. cuz rhythm is the number one like culprit of of losing people like if you're going to lose people in your in your performances and, and in your engagement, it's rhythm. Like the second you're not confident in the rhythm, man, it just cuts through so hard. Like you can miss notes and make mistakes on notes, but rhythm is like, whoa, they feel it because rhythm is something that we feel every day. Our heartbeat, all those things. Um, rhythm is huge. So being able to practice that. I'm just sitting there. as you get better and better at it you can start pushing it further and further so you can like really really stretch it out stretch it out stretch it out and then boom pull back um that's what i love doing uh so yeah that's pretty much the only exercise that we i wanted you guys to jump into it's it's a thing that really unlocked my playing when it came to john mayer stuff and like i i love it i do it in heaps of songs um 
Mm. Like one of them that I find really, really fun is like, you know, uh, Shape of You by Ed Sheeran. I just dropped my pick. But so say, for instance, I was playing Shape of You. I do that. Come on, be my baby. Come on. Come on, be my baby. Come on. It's it's a pretty fun trick. Um, if you can do it, you can just like sit on like a minor chord. Or say I was playing Treasure by Bruno Mars. So when we get to that, you know, you are my treasure. Treasure, you are my treasure, yeah, you, you are my treasure. Yeah, see, I'm getting that little fill. And, and that, that's a really, really fun thing to do. I mean, that was a bit sloppy there, but I mean, look, and what... Sometimes I do it in my band when I do, um, well, sometimes I go out by myself. So, yeah, have fun. Enjoy this little exercise. You can see how much fun I, I'm just having there. I'm just like, <laughs> just get creative. Just join in. Like this is, you don't need a band. You don't need a loop pedal. You don't need anything. This is building up internal rhythm with yourself and you play with your, that's phrasing. You just vibe on your thing. You just jam on your own ideas, getting creative, pushing yourself in and out of time. And uh, yeah, have heaps of fun. Hopefully that brings you value, and uh, hope you, hopefully I get to see a bunch of videos of everyone absolutely slaying with their improvisation. All right, catch you guys in the next video.